Okay, welcome back here. All right, so in our last episode, we discovered that Illustrator is a vector-based program. Now, what that basically means is that it's scalable vector graphic, which means I can make it the size of a Buick, and it's still going to be crisp and clean. Unlike pixels, which is an image, and the bigger you make an image, the more it gets pixelated, therefore it gets distorted. A vector graphic can be scaled to any size, and it's going to be crisp and clean. That's because the vectors are made, made with mathematical calculations. So as an example, one thing I want to share with you, shortcut command Y, control Y for Windows. So command Y, control Y is a preview so it goes into color mode, preview mode. So this breaks down the wireframe graphic vector. So basically here's how it works. Here's how Illustrator thinks. So basically the vectors are made up of path. So here's a path. So here's one path, two paths, three paths, four paths. Now there's two types of paths in Illustrator. There's an open path and there's a closed path. This is by default being an example of a closed path. The closed paths connect to anchor points, one anchor point, two anchor points, three anchor points, four anchor points. So as an example, right now this is filled with, with brown. I'm going to hit the X key to exchange. Now I'm going to stroke it with red, red of say 12 pixels. Okay, so it's now filled with brown and stroked with red because I hit the X key. Again, down here, a good production technique. Do not be intimidated by shortcuts. Shortcuts will help you. Shortcuts will make a better user. Now, something I want to share with you, shortcuts are important because if you go to a freelance gig and you sit down to show the person your skill level, you're going up to the menu every 10 seconds. You're going to go, well, maybe this person doesn't really understand the program. But you can basically wow them with shortcuts. So X key exchange is between the fill and stroke. Now here's a really powerful shortcut. If you hit the shift X, what that's going to do, it's going to exchange the stroke color for the fill color. So which is a very common thing to be able to do. So shift X will basically exchange shift X, shift key X, both Macintosh and Windows will basically exchange the fill for the stroke. So shift X, shift X. X key will simply swap out or basically select fill stroke, fill stroke. So right now I'm selected on stroke. So if you want to make your stroke purple, this is now a purple stroke. I'm going to deselect by holding down the command key and clicking off. Okay. Now, by, again, by default, this is a closed path. If I was to select this path, and again, I'm holding down the command key, holding down the command key, selecting the path, hitting the delete key, deletes the path. This has now become an open path. Notice I deleted the path, not the anchor point. Let's undo that. Command Z, Control Z, Windows. So if you select the path in the delete key, it's going to delete the path. But if you select the anchor point, here's what happens. It's going to delete the anchor point to the next anchor point, the anchor point to the next anchor point. So by selecting the anchor point, holding on the command key, dragging a marquee selection box, and hitting the delete key, I would create a triangle. Okay. Now, this is an open path triangle because the path is open here. Okay. Now, a couple things I could do here. If you don't want to delete the anchor point, but you want to simply remove the anchor point. Now, two different things. Now, vocabulary, exact terminology, is very important to software. So as an example, copying and duplicating are two different things to a computer. Copy on a computer always implies pasting. Copy, paste, which is not the same as duplicating. Okay, so Command D would duplicate something. Now, to further confuse you, not really, but in Illustrator, you have cloning, duplicating, and copying. So if I move this object right now, and I hold on the Option key, that's going to make a clone copy, a clone copy, because I held down the Option key for Macintosh, all key for Windows. Now, anything but the object is under the Object menu. So based on these choices, and menus all come down to choices, just like when you go out to eat. Whatever's on the menu is a choice. So object menu choice. What have I generically done to the object? I have generically transformed it. Anything that falls under this category, which is move, rotate, reflect, scale. We're going to talk about this in detail in a second. But this is a form of transformation, which is command D. 
So if you wanted to repeat that transformation, you can simply hit Command D. Of course, Control D on Windows. Control D, Command D, Control D, Command D. Command Z undoes. So copying, cloning, duplicating three separate things on a computer. Three separate things in Illustrator, more specifically. So let's get back to this open path, closed path. So if you were to select this anchor point and you hit the delete key, it's going to delete the anchor point to the next path. The anchor point, I'm sorry, the anchor point to the next anchor point, the anchor point to the next anchor point by hitting the delete key. However, if I want to remove the anchor point, not delete the anchor point, simply have it not physically be there, what I can do is go to the P for pen tool. P selects the pen tool. The pen tool is used for creating paths. So if I mouse my pen tool over the anchor point, it will turn into a minus symbol. So if I minus or remove, not delete with the delete key, remove the anchor point, I would have a triangle. But in this particular case, I would have an, a closed path. Pretty cool. So this is a very powerful technique to understand how Illustrator is working. Undo that command Z. So by default, when you create a rectangle, you're going to create an open path. So you can make this a closed path. I'm sorry. Yes. You're gonna, <laughs> my mistakes on that. You're going to create a closed path. So rectangles by default are a closed path. Ovals by default are a closed path. So if you want to make this an open path, again, you can select the, the path itself and hit the delete key. But if you want to make this a rectangle, if you select the anchor point and hit the delete key, you're going to have a rectangle, but you're going to have an open path rectangle. If, in fact, you want a closed path rectangle, go to the P for pen tool, put your cursor over the anchor point, and click. That will remove the anchor point. Now, if, in fact, you want to add more anchor points, you can put your pen tool on the path. Notice it turns into a plus symbol. So I can basically put an anchor point here. So therefore, I can hold down the command key and I can move up the anchor point. Pretty cool. So I can make the top of a house. I'm going to undo that. So if you were to put, so as an example, I'm going to hide the guides. So command semicolon hides guides, command semicolon shows guides. Windows, of course, that's control, control key, view guides. The shortcut is right here. Okay. So guides, view guides, hide, show guides is right there. Okay, so I'm going to hide the guides. Now, incidentally, that same hiding of the guides works in Photoshop, InDesign, uh, After Effects, etc., etc., etc. So I'm going to put an anchor point right here. Now, notice that it knew exactly where the center was because I have something on called Smart Guides by default. By default, Command U, Control Key U for Windows. So if you have Smart Guides on, that's going to tell you where the center point is. So I'm going to take and click right there at the intersection. I'm going to click. And it's going to add an anchor point. Now, I have a couple of choices here. I can take the anchor point and I can move it with my mouse to create the top of this house. Or with it still selected, remember before in our previous video, Command K, Command K preferences. So let's time, let's say every time I use an arrow key up, down, left, or right, I want to move a half inch. Well, there's 72 points in an inch, so divided by 2 would be 36. So 36 points, so 36 points is half inch. So I can, in order to affect the anchor point, I need to select the anchor point. And I can basically take my up arrow keys and go half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty cool. I'm going to undo that. So again, the way that this works, because it's a vector-based program, the anchor points can be removed or added with the pen tool. So with the pen tool again selected, if I'm on an anchor point, it's going to remove the anchor point. It's going to remove the anchor point. So as an example, if I put an anchor point here, I can now go and remove it. Now, of course, I could hit Command Z as well. But again, this is going to help to make a better user of your tools. So Illustrator is a vector-based program that uses vector-based tools to create objects. Anything about the object is under the object menu. So we'll talk more in detail about this in our next video.